We're at the state-of-the-art Arc Wind Tunnel at the capital of speed, Indianapolis, with Dave Morse, who's the advanced development engineer at ZIP, and he is going to give us his top aerodynamics tips, how to make your body and not your bike more aerodynamic. That is right, how to go faster for free. Right, and Dave, hit it. So the first freebie, a really easy one, is going to be between your hand position on the tops, hoods, or on the drops. Surprisingly, there's not that big of a difference between the tops and the hoods, yeah. but you do get a little bit uh, lower on the hoods. There is quite a big difference between the hoods and the drops. That'll save you up to 20 watts if you're, depending on the person, if, it, if you get low enough. Um, so in race scenarios, drops are always better. Uh, the second one will be elbows. If, uh, if your elbows tend to stick out a little bit, concentrate on bringing those closer to your body in line with the bars. Right. That'll buy you a little bit extra. Um, and then the next biggest hit after that is gonna be your head and shoulder position. So you wanna keep that head kind of in line with your back. I know it's uncomfortable like to keep it, yep, to keep it tilted up, but the, the more discomfort you can stand, the faster you're gonna go. And then try to shrug these shoulders up towards your ears, a little like higher. Like there you go, so it looks a little uncomfortable. It takes a bit of practice, but you're gonna see it uh, in the numbers. If you're ever doing a, a time trial or in a breakaway on a road race, these will make some big differences. And then keeping everything tidy. So your helmet straps, any extra bags or cables on your bike, that's also stuff you can get for free. Um, just attention to detail. So, so, so is my position now, like my body position, is that about as good as it can go? I think, uh, you know, you're a pretty aero guy. Uh, there's yeah. not much sticking out there. That's the biggest compliment anyone's ever paid me. Uh, bottles in the back are gonna hurt you, but uh, if you have to have the water, you have to have it. Uh, maybe ditch it when you're done. Um, but overall, I think that you're ready to race. Yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping you'd say that actually I was really unaerodynamic and that the reason I didn't do as well in races is because I could have got my position uh, sorted. But no. anyway, never mind. I've got no excuse. And then what about, what about the issue of ponytails? So obviously, you know, a big one in the women's peloton, but also now with Peter Sagan in the men's peloton as well. What do we do? That's actually a very good question. So we had the chance to uh, test this with one of our female pro athletes. Uh, she was concerned which uh, hair position was gonna be fastest for her. Some are more convenient than others. Um, and actually the ponytail, surprisingly, was the fastest between ponytail, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, pigtails. Right. Uh, was faster than ponytails or a bun. So Peter Sagan with the stylish man bun, uh, you might wanna go to the hairdresser, get some uh, tight pigtails and uh, gain a little extra speed. That's gonna be his world championship winning tip. Okay, and then the other thing, like a big aerodynamic, topic at the moment is descending so you know Chris Froome popularized a pretty extreme style uh, in the Tour de France this year but have you tested it how aero is that yeah so um, it is it, you know you get down a little pod it is very fast there are some uh, trade-offs obviously you can't pedal very easily there um, it takes a few seconds to get into the position so if you're on a really technical descent that might um, compromise some safety getting out of the descent in an emergency um, one that is just as good though, keeping your, your saddle or your, your seat on the saddle, um, get your nose and your, your chin way down there, like put your hands up top there, tuck them in close to your knees, stop pedaling for a second, get those knees in, and you can look down. That is just about as good as anything you're gonna get. Really? Yep. And it doesn't feel half as sketchy. Nope, you can control the bike. Uh, just about as good as when you're sitting up, and you can, most importantly, get out of that position in an emergency. Yeah, my brakes are just there. Cool, good stuff. So there's some pretty solid tips there. For most of us, riding on the drops is gonna be faster. Keep your elbows tucked in, shrug that head and your shoulders, and then think about keeping your bike and your body uncluttered, so nothing in your back pockets, and minimizing what's on your bike. And then, finally, remember, Pigtails are more aerodynamic than buns. So Peter Sagan, we know what your world's haircut's gonna be. Right then, for some more videos about wind tunnels, right here in fact, in the Art Wind Tunnel, where we test retro versus modern zip wheels, why not click just down there to watch that video? Or for more tech videos here on GCN, if you click just there, you get through to our playlist. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel, just click on the globe.